In this lecture, I'm going to talk about epithelium. Epithelium is one of the four basic tissues of the body. The other three are connective tissues, muscle and nerve. Epithelium is very important to understand because it's located in most organs of the body. And if you can identify the different sorts of epithelium, and you know the different functions of each of these epitheliums, then it's very important and very easy for you to understand then the structure of organs and being able to identify different organs. At the end of this lecture, I would like you to understand the following. Firstly, that epithelial cells are orientated in certain ways. They're also classified or named differently depending on how they appear and also, in some instances, their functions. They have certain surface specialisations that have a very important role in some parts of the body. Epithelial cells are very tightly held together by junctional complexes, and I'll explain the different types of junctional complexes. Epithelia are also very tightly anchored to underlying connective tissue. Let me just summarise what the main functions of epithelia are and then we'll look at the structures of the epithelia that serve these particular functions. Epithelia cover body surfaces. A skin is an example. Skin is the external covering of the body. It's a very specialised epithelium and I'll talk about skin specially in another lecture. Epithelia lines the body cavities, such as the thoracic cavity, the pleural cavity, and the abdominal cavities. It also lines tubes. Some of those tubes are external to the body, such as the respiratory passages, the gastrointestinal tract, and some tubes are internal, such as blood vessels. Epithelia also forms secretory tissues or glands and also the ducts or conduits that carry the secretory product of these glands to the surface. And they're also, in special instances, receptors. And we'll learn about those in more detail when we look at uh, the ear and the tongue and olfactory epithelium in the nasal cavity and also the eye. It's very important, first of all, to understand what the characteristics of epithelium are. It has three major characteristics that really identify epithelia. Firstly, each of the epithelial cells has an apex or a surface that's adjacent to the lumen, which is often a hollow tube. Here, you see a section through a collecting duct in the kidney. You don't need to understand the details of the kidney at this stage, but just have a look at this image. Have a look at the section through this tube identify the lumen and identify the epithelial cells. They stain light pink. Some, you can see, have a nice round nucleus. In other instances, you can't see the nucleus because the section just hasn't passed through that part of the cell. But these epithelia all have a surface that opens into the lumen, which is that clear area in the centre. Epithelia also have a lateral border, and that lateral border has very important functions. And that's where junctional complexes occur to hold these epithelial cells very closely together. All epithelia sit on a basement membrane, and therefore are anchored to underlying connective tissue. We call that underlying connective tissue lamina propria. And I'll be talking about lamina propria a number of times in this lecture and also in other lectures. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe.
anytime, anywhere.